You're tuned in to We Talk Radio Network. Uh, real quick, um, I just wanted to go back and talk about how you were talking about your children. And um, what it got to me was about your son, um, 18, graduated from you know uh, school and getting hired on the spot and got a lot of stuff going. Um, great for him. Um, I came from a um, single parent home. My mom raised me. And what I could, what I took away from that was, you know, having a good, having good parents, you know, having, you know, somebody that, that, you know, let you do, let you do you, but, you know, if you make mistakes, you correct you and stuff like that. And mm-hmm. in that, you got, you got somebody that has never been, you know, he don't have a record. He's not out there in the street. He's not doing all that other stuff. You know, it's hard in these times right now to, um, go through school and go through all that and, you know, come out and be great because in a time like this, you know, it's, you know, us as black men, young men, you know, we are, uh, we, we got a target on our back every day. And so, right. um, right. that's, that's amazing. Um, I, I can say too, you know, with the, with the raising of my mom, my grandmother and, and even my dad, you know, um, he was a cop. And what he did to me was he, he showed me everything a cop would do to me if I was to be out there and doing something I ain't got no business doing. And wow. that helped me to that helped me to this to get me to this point now where I can say I never had a record, I never been in jail, I never been you know, none of that, you know, I always worked for, you know, everything and, and, and yes, sir. I'm I'm a I'm a man for for, for I'm I consider myself a, a a good, strong black man because of the teaching and so you know, it's good to hear that about your son. Absolutely. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yes, the foundation is important. And when my son was going into the third grade, I made the decision at that point to homeschool both of my kids. And so from the third grade to the time he graduated, he attended a virtual school. And, um, you know, of course, when he got in ninth grade, you know, you know, he felt like he was missing out on stuff. Just from, you know, what friends would tell him in the neighborhood or whatever. But I stood my ground. I told him, you're going to graduate right here from this kitchen table. And um, <laughs> and, and, and because I, I just knew just from some of the stories, I mean, my son, I mean, I initially took him out of school because he got hit in the mouth with a golf club. So that's a whole nother, you know, show. Wow. Um, but, yeah. And um, and I found out that Texas has federal immunity. And if my son had died, there would still been nothing they said I could do. So after that, it was a wrap. What? I took my son out of public school. Yes, ma'am. And I and I home and I homeschool both of my kids. Um, and even in the midst of them, you know, wanting to go back to school, I just with everything that was going on in the school systems with bullying and the pressure and the drugs and the sex, I just knew that was not the route for him. And 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 he, and he probably gonna kill me for saying this, but my son is eighteen and he is still a virgin as well. Oh, and, that's yeah. amazing. That's good. That is good. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. One day yes, he'll be proud you know, that you did that. Probably school, not today, though. Say it again. <laughs> I said one day he's going to be proud that you said that. But probably not today. You're right. <laughs> yeah, probably not today. He's going to be like, Mom, what in the world? Are you serious? <laughs> yeah, but, but you know what? Had, but had he been in school, that probably wouldn't have been the case. And so right. I'm just I'm just glad that I made the decision that I did. And because, you know, evil communication corrupts good manners. I don't care, you know, what the standard is. You know, you get around some of these other people and, you know, and they can persuade you or make you feel bad. Because I even have some grown men that try to make my son feel bad because he's a virgin. So, yeah. Uh, but, no, uh, you know, that's, that's yeah. probably that barbershop yeah, talk. That's probably yeah. that barbershop Yeah, they try to make him feel bad. Like he's missing out on something. Oh, like, like, dude. Like, yeah. So, but I'm glad that... He's standing his ground, and you know he and he's you know he's continuing in that journey. And I pray he continue. Um, but you know we we'll, yes we'll just pray. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Well, you know what? That is a rare gem. He is a rare, rare mm-hmm. gem, and that is amazing. That yes. is amazing. Congratulations, mom. Congratulations, Thank you. mom. Absolutely. You should celebrate for real every Mother's Day. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> You're tuned in to We, we Talk, Talk Radio, Radio Network. Network.